it's a challenge. When did you kind of first have that need to look good pop up for you? I mean, you know, my entire life I've been there to impress my father. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal, phenomenal father now, but he wasn't there when I was younger, no. Yeah. So that, that need to show up and look good is basically you still trying to please dad in a way and it just became so automatic for you that now it's like, it just shows up whenever. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't think it was showing up, but that makes mm -hmm. sense that it could be a reason why I'm you know, self-conscious. Yeah. Actually, we are intertwined with the past and also whatever hurdles or experiences that we had, we bring to the present and <clears throat> it has a relation to the future. He gave a perfect example of a childhood experience and he, whether conscious or not, he's bringing it and when there's a emotional trigger with the experience, it comes up. Mm. Based on our understanding of ourselves, uh, the people around us and the world, that's how our thoughts um, occur. And there's a thing called automatic thoughts wherein you can't stop it. It, it's your view of your certain situation, your yourself, and things that are happening. And once that automatic thought comes in, you don't have any way out. Mm -hmm. Either you challenge it if it's not true, or you get used to it and, until it becomes you. We have the power to really analyze ourselves. Am I that thought? Mm. Can I do something about that thought? Could I change it? Mm. And that takes courage, mm. and it takes time. My mom was very critical of me, like she was never happy with anything I did. kind of took that out on myself by being super productive, I was always go, go, go. I felt that I needed to prove my mom wrong. Well, in essence, what happened was I was just being super hard on myself, that I would burn out. So when I picked up this mindfulness practice like 12 years ago, asking myself like whenever I would hear this voice in my head that would say you're not enough hmm. you're not capable you can't do that being able to identify that okay this thought it isn't mine it's my mom's and she just passed this on to me and I accepted it it's a lot easier for me to detach yeah that you know that's not me I can choose to show up as this yeah. person instead and just by being more loving and compassionate to myself um, I felt that I was able to really show up for other people as well yeah. because I had, I had nothing to prove anymore. Of course. I'm not very good at being extraordinarily present in the moment without trying to think of the future mm. or the past or just something. My mind's going crazy all the time. Yeah. This principle also like the monkey mind. Yes. <laughs> it's just like this being restless. Uh, you're, you're, it's like your own inner critic. And it's just there, this, this whisper. And it happens because um, we may be insecure, we might have not settled things in the past, and we carry it on. And being mindful is focusing on the here and now. And not thinking about regrets of the past or the fears of the future. Mm. But you have the power at this moment to be who you are.